Hi, I'm David Kirkham, President of Kirkham Motorsports. Welcome to another edition of Kirkham Motorsports University where we show you how we build our beautiful cars and all the parts to it. Today we're going to show you how we built this girdle for the bottom end of our 427 billet aluminum block. A lot of people in the earlier video asked what happens to all the chips. Well, we sent them back to the recycler where they make them back into more plates for us to turn into more beautiful parts for you. Thanks for joining. Here we are back at the mill, and Dave's going to show us how he's going to mill out this 137 pound block of aluminum into the bottom end of our engine. He's going to turn, this is where we're going to make the girdle. Dave made a special fixture plate here with dowel pins. You see the dowel pins? They go into the mains, into the little tiny holes we machined earlier with an eighth inch end mill. We'll stabilize the part after we cut it free from the block. Here we bolted the fixture plate onto the block. And if you look really closely right in here, we've started to cut the girdle away from the parent material. And that's why we have the fixture plate on top. The fixture plate is bolting down to the original parent material, but right here we're also bolting the girdle to the fixture plate. So when we finish cutting it away right here, the girdle will still have support all the way across the rotary axes. When we roll it over, we're going to finish the machining operations and then we'll deburr.
Here we've cut the girdle away from the parent material. It's still bolted down to that fixture plate. All right, we've changed the end mill out to the ball mill. And we use a ball mill to do all the deburring. We're gonna run right around the edges of the part to take all the burrs off so it's nice and finished when we're done. Here we've turned the girdle 90 degrees so we can machine up on the bell housing end of the girdle. I'm going to zoom in right here. This is the outlet uh, from the oil pump. It comes right out of the girdle. And you can see there's where the oil pickup bolts on. We're going to cycle start. We've got it turned down because we're right up at the edge of the end of our Z. Z is the up and down movement of the drill, of the machine. You can see we're very, very close. In order to do a tool change, we have to move the part all the way back out of the way again. We've got it in single block mode, so Dave is manually advancing it. We did that so it'd be easier for us to film it. You can see, look at how close we are to the top of that block. Again, we're drilling on the bell housing into the girdle. We've slowed the rapids down to only 25%. Now we'll tap. This is a 7 16 tap. Our machine is equipped with a rigid tap function. So the spindle and the z-axis is coordinated for the tapping. <laughs> special cutter we're going to use to cut the seal to the crankshaft. We had to turn the girdle around so we could machine the timing chain cover or the front of the block. We're going to drill in the little holes and also make some pockets to lighten it up. We're right at the end of our Z travel here. We have to be very careful. You can see that it rotates right next to the table. And here's the finished block. Thanks so much for joining us today at Kirkham Motorsports University. We hope you'll join us again soon when we put this block on the dyno. If you want to keep up with the latest, please follow us at KirkhamMotorsports.com or you can come check me out on my Facebook, David Kirkham. Thanks so much.